Hey guys, it's Brian again with another ceiling fan video. What I have for you here is a Casablanca Cafe ceiling fan or cafe, cafe, however you pronounce that, I really don't know. It's like a tan color. I want to say it's called desert sand or something like that. Kind of got this oriental Chinese Japanese theme going on. Really cool looking fan. Integrated light kit. See the blades are kind of like a bleached oak. Absolutely gorgeous. Really nice looking fan. And the stuff that is inside here, it's not glass. It's like a paper or a plastic or something, which is kind of nice because that's less to break. Hanging on a long down rod has the hang true mounting system with the canopy that's specific for this type of fan. Uh, uses an XLP motor. It's an IntelliTouch fan. It's got a W33 control. This is the control that came with the fan. Um, I like the thing. It's pretty nice, but I will say this. This thing is an absolute pain in the ass to install. I, I hated every minute of installing this fan. Absolutely hated every minute. But it's worth it in the long run because it actually is a really nice fan and it's a pretty good air mover. Um, I have been trying to get demo mode to work on this. Maybe I'm hitting the wrong buttons. I don't know, but at the end of the day, I'm just not even gonna try. So let's go ahead. I'll show you the light function. This is off. We're gonna do the dimmer. So the dimmer works. And we'll start the fan on the first speed. I picked this up for another collector. This is not going to stay in my collection. And to be quite honest, I'm okay with that because I have absolutely nowhere to put this. And like I said, I hated every minute of installing this fan, but despite that, it actually is a very nice fan. I will say that. But it doesn't fit in with any of my decor, so no big loss there. And I'll be sure to post a picture of the tag on top of the motor at the end of the video. I have absolutely no idea what year this fan is from, but whatever. Still a really nice fan. It's got a really nice, slow first speed. Let's go ahead and bump it up to the second speed. As you can see, the IntelliTouch works just fine. Third speed. If I'm not mistaken, I think I have one of these in a catalog up in my office. They made this fan for quite a long time. Go ahead and put it to the fourth speed. Starting to feel some air movement. It's definitely, you know, pretty decent. You know, XLP motors are pretty good motors. It does have a slight bit of wobble to it, but really not that bad. Fifth speed. Definitely more power as far as air movement is concerned. Oh yeah. Actually, 
works pretty good on this speed. I happen to like this speed in particular. And finally up to high. As far as the diameter of this fan, I want to say this is a 56 inch, it might be 54 inch. I don't remember off the top of my head. I'll look it up in the catalog before I post the video. And I'll be sure to put pictures of the motor tag at the end of the video as well. Pretty good amount of air. It's not as good as like a Four Seasons or a, you know, Zephyr or, you know, something that's K55, but it's, it's definitely cranking out a pretty strong amount of air. Doesn't move quite as fast as some of those other fans, but this is a pretty good air mover. And we'll do spin down. Cosmetically, the fan is actually in mint condition. It's really not scratched or beat up or anything. I mean, it, it does need a little bit of cleaning because it's probably been hanging in the same house since it was brand new. But other than that, it's a pretty nice fan. Not really looking forward to packing this and wrapping it in bubble wrap because I just want to be careful so that nothing gets damaged. But I think it should be okay. Obviously the flywheel on this is in good shape. Bearings seem to be pretty good on this. It's got a pretty long spin down. Then again, these blades are actually decently heavy. Part of the reason why I did not like uh, hanging this fan is, you know, these blade brackets and blade badges, you know, are kind of a pain in the ass to mount to the actual brackets on the fan motor. It's not exactly the best and easiest way to install blades, but whatever. Once you get it done, it actually is quite worth it because this is a nice fan. Like I said, doesn't really fit in with any of my decor, but I like it. I don't think I've ever seen one of these in real life out in the wild. Maybe in a lighting showroom at one point, but didn't really think of it. This is definitely a nice fan. Very expensive fan. So there you have it. That's the Casablanca Cathay ceiling fan. Hope you guys enjoyed. Keep watching. More videos to come.